So without further ado, these are movies that I thought might have been uh, hexed and were or are. And then I found out more about them and then found out about others that I didn't know were. And I thought, mm, suspicious. They probably should be because they definitely were creepy when I watched them. And sometimes when you're dealing with spooky stuff, it makes you wonder, what was that? Being choked, and it wasn't just the rig that they had set up. Um, that was one thing. Then I know that they had used real skeletons in the pool scene outside in the dirt, which was a big no-no. Um, I was surprised that that actually happened. And there was a Native American guy on set that was very upset by it and said, you know, you've disrupted the spirits. That man would go on to die between um, Poltergeist 2 and 3, so much so that they had to replace the Native American shaman, because he didn't make it. You can see him getting sicker, too, as the films go on. And the actress, Jo Beth Williams, who plays the mom, she has done many an interview that's well-documented when she left, despite Poltergeist in general being supposedly a, a stay-at-home ghost, like a place where that one location gets on it, even though they were obviously on set. She went back to her home, and after, you know, done shooting or when they had time off, 
and her pictures would be upside down on her walls at home or she would have the radio turn on and off or her pictures would shake, lights would turn on and off in her own private home. So that was crazy and uh, she had a lot of issue with it and said that there was definitely like a presence there and it wasn't anything good. So um, we'll come back to this later because there's kind of an interesting um, subplot that, that this kicks back up. Twilight Zone, the movie, such a bad helicopter crash. Um, three people were killed and that's kind of the big claim to fame. Um, it's awful, obviously, but three people were actually uh, sliced up from a helicopter that crashed in a scene that was forced it, at the time, the safety issues, and it, it, they weren't technically following protocol to the letter, and they had some safety issues, and they pushed it. It was a high, windy day, bad circumstances. It probably could have been avoided, but they say that because the film was hexed, those unfortunate three people died. Then there's my favorite... Uh, Stephen King, gotta love him. Although I have to say the 1986 Maximum Overdrive, although funny and I did like the movie, and how do you say funny about a horror movie? Because Stephen King is hilarious, despite uh, horror and comedy have a lot together often. Um, he did a huge catalog of stuff, and I love his movies. That one, probably, it's okay. Not one of my favorites, but, you know, pretty cool. Um, the people on set said that they always felt like there was a presence there or that someone would die or be harmed. And it was constant to the point where they started bringing security on set every day. Um, there was eventually a hurricane that happened that wrecked a lot of things. And that was obviously an unplanned event, but it was also not an area or a time when hurricanes would hit. To my knowledge, that's the only weird spooky thing of a Stephen King uh, maneuver there or, or work, which is funny because Stephen King has done so much and is in the horror genre, but I always felt like he was... Uh, perfectly respectful of it, so it didn't uh, occur to him, so maybe it was just a fluke, who knows. The movie Ghost, 1990. Gotta love Patrick Swayze, R.I.P., and Demi Moore. Not a spooky movie. However, here's our throwback. So apparently, Heather O'Rourke from Poltergeist, who had passed years prior, was haunting the set of Ghost. They would hear little kids' footsteps laughing, etc., and it turns out that it was shot on the same stage. So Ghost was shot where Poltergeist was shot. And they think it was Heather O'Rourke, which if anybody had a reason to stick around there, it was certainly her. But who knew? So uh, fun fact, you know, uh, fishtail there. The Exorcism of Emily Rose from 2005. The star said that she felt haunted uh, personally by a ghost that was of musical uh, inclination. Then she would go to her house or you know, walk in to her apartment and find that the radio would turn on randomly um, to certain songs and different times and nobody was turning it on. Like, obviously, she would walk in and, and hear music. So, creepy. Um, the movie Insidious. I have to say, I never saw this one. It's on my list to watch and I just never got around to it. Apparently, there's a hospital set and the cast and crew said that they all felt ill often and that it was a constant ominous feeling and that there was an unoccupied room near
If you like this type of content, scare the like button into turning blue and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.